Y'all, these are some very weird times. We got this crazy inflation going on right now. We got NeNe Leaks still airing Bravo out for the world to see. And to make everything worse, our Atlanta housewives are still standing in the unemployment line. Well, everybody except Candy Burris. Dang! Woo! It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And today, we have to talk about how Bravo has left our girls scrambling for weeks now, still wondering if they have a job or not, since there still have been no plans to start filming for the next season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, even after our girls literally gave it everything they had for the season 15 reunion. <laughs> okay, it's been several weeks now since The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion. And I mean, like, it wasn't the best, but it was exciting seeing our girls sitting there fighting for their peaches. I mean, they gave us something to work with. Carry on. <laughs> now, usually shortly after the reunion, Bravo sends out pickup letters, letting the girls know who's being brought back and in what capacity. That way they can go ahead and get their schedules together and start filming for the next season. But this year, Bravo has been moving way differently, and I bet that group chat yeah. <laughs> is off the chain. What's going on? What y'all doing? <laughs> now, the streets have been saying that Bravo has actually decided to take an extended break, whether they move forward with a reboot for Atlanta Housewives or not. That means even if they do fold and bring back the cast for another mediocre season, it could be another year or so before we even see it because Bravo may just decide to starve out bloggers and give fans of the show a chance to actually miss the Atlanta Housewives. <laughs> now wait a minute, Adele. Don't don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Now, if you're a fan of Housewives, you probably already know that the Atlanta Housewives are expected to make a huge appearance on the opening day of BravoCon. On the panel, they are expected to spill the tea on their jaw-dropping season, let us know where their friendships stand, and Bravo fans will see what other receipts they have rustled up since the reunion. And honestly, I have just one word for this. Awkward. <laughs> no, seriously, Bravo, like, how are y'all sitting here after publicly acknowledging that no official decisions about Real Housewives of Atlanta have been made, all while scheduling to have our girls come out there looking silly and be publicly humiliated in front of all of the fans? Like, it just don't make any sense and I couldn't do it. Apparently, we'll know more about Bravo's decision shortly after BravoCon, but y'all already know that I'm Team Reboot because I am just so ready for something more fresh and more vibrant from Atlanta. Oh, and speaking of fresh and vibrant, I think that this will be the perfect time to tell you guys about today's sponsor. BioTrust is a leading premium nutritional supplement brand. And let me ask y'all this. Did you know that your collagen levels start to actually decline after you reach the age of 20? Yeah. And that's problematic because collagen is literally the glue that holds us all together, from our hair and skin, to joints, to bones, and even our gut. That's why I'm so happy that I learned about the BioTrust Ageless Multi-Collagen and Turmeric Supplement that is non-GMO, it doesn't clump, and unlike other brands at BioTrust, their product contains five types of collagen in one. And I've just been adding it to my morning coffee to help me live a much more vibrant life. And I'm a period. This supplement is made without preservatives or sweeteners, and I found the golden milk flavor to be delicious and comforting with my coffee. I love that the BioTrust Ageless Multi-Collagen and Turmeric combines two anti-aging superheroes that have both been clinically studied to support skin elasticity and hydration while helping fight other visible signs of aging because, girl, no. Go ahead and click the link below to get 51% off your order plus free shipping. And they are so confident that you'll love it that it includes a 60 day money back guarantee. Thank you so much, BioTrust, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now let's get back to the tea. Now, y'all already know that I'm actually a part of the problem. I have huge expectations for our Atlanta girls. So for me, it's a no-brainer to wrap up these storylines and go ahead and give Real Housewives of Atlanta a whole new era. I'm the best 
But Candy Burris ain't liking that at all. And in fact, she's been keeping that same energy since earlier this summer when she appeared on Entertainment Tonight, keeping it real when initial noise about the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast shakeup started to make waves. Atlanta is different. I don't feel like you can do the same thing with Atlanta that you did with New York, just totally drop everybody and start all over. But I feel that, yes, of course you can add some new people. Ciao. Whenever the time comes, it'll just happen. I haven't planned my exit just yet. And a few weeks ago, Katie made headlines again, slamming the idea of the Atlanta Housewives reboot, basically telling Bravo, bitch, please, I'd like to see you try it. There have been a lot of stuff on social media talking about, you know, they need Mm -hmm. to get rid of all y'all. Y'all need a brand new cast. Mm -hmm. What's like, what's your take on that? Like, what's you, what's your response? My response is do whatever they need to do. Let me pretend I care. Okay, I'm done. Like, you know, do whatever you need to do. Yes, in the interview with iHeartRadio's Tariq Wynn, Candy Burris did not hold back and she made some very interesting points. I know people constantly need to see change to feel like they're getting something, you know what I mean? So if they feel like they need to make changes, then find a cast that you think is going to work. Ciao. Do I think they're going to find a whole cast of people that's going to work and satisfy our fans? Probably not. I don't know, y'all. I actually watched the Real Housewives of New York reboot, and to me, it's really good. And it really completely restores my faith in the Housewives franchise because it's proven that I'm not really over the Housewives format like I thought I was. But instead, I just need completely new stories from completely new people that bring something different to television. And I so badly want that for Atlanta. And I get it. I mean, a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, how can he say that? But y'all know I love these girls or I wouldn't be doing this for as long as I've been doing it. I just want to know, like, why are y'all so afraid of new possibilities? Why don't y'all believe that we can do it all over again with new women that we can fall in love with and have like a completely different perspective about the Atlanta ladies and build off everything that we've already learned? That's actually an interesting question. You actually won't believe me, but I'm going to tell you anyways. And trust me, y'all, I get it. It's a huge risk. Like, the show could flop, Candy could be right, and Bravo can regret it, and then, like, things could go completely left, but I think that it's time to take the risk. I don't know if I'm being extremely optimistic, and y'all already know that I definitely want to keep my job. So for me to say that it's time for a reboot, I feel like it's time for a reboot. Either way, I'll definitely be keeping my ear to the streets and I will definitely be following this story and sharing any binge-worthy updates as we get closer to BravoCon where I expect a lot of mess to go down (laughs) if if I'm being completely honest. Does that sound like something you want? Yes. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Bravo is making a huge mistake by taking so long to make a decision about the future of RHOA? Or do you think that this is the perfect time for them to take a break and regroup? Also, let me know if you're team reboot or team stick beside them. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know that it is not a easy topic to discuss, so I definitely appreciate you for sticking it out and making it to the end. And y'all, by the way, don't forget to check out this great deal on BioTrust. Click the link in the description box below to use my special offer today. Anyways, thanks again, BioTrust, for sponsoring today's video. I will see all of y'all on the next one. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barging down. Got my heart no barging in. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make a child. If it didn't, we gon' hit the shower. Part two, we don't need no pause. You can't miss me, we gon' get tipsy. Don't need a power shot.